Okay, Steve. All right, we we're, good. we're doing this on a, on a flip camera, which weighs three ounces. Talk about the first interview you ever did. The first interview I ever did was with Carl Perkins, and he was at a nightclub in Newport, Arkansas, called the Silver Moon. And the we were just talking about how how miniaturized everything electronic has become. And my tape recorder was, I swear, it was that big and that tall, and it was that tall, and it was real heavy. I put it down, I got ready to interview him, and I said, now, before, uh, when I interview you on the tape, how would you like me to introduce you? He said, just say that, uh, you know, a couple of months ago, I just had one pair of shoes, now I got a whole closet full of blue suede shoes. <laughs> oh, no. Which I thought was pretty good, and I used no. it, by the way. <laughs> I'd be back in, would you like to put a, a year on that, Steve Arino? Yeah, that was, uh, I just got out of the Marine Corps, that was 1955. Oh, man. So you were in favor of the rock and roll highway up to Newport. Yes, I was. As a matter of fact, another quick story is I was uh, laboring away at this 1,000-watt radio station, KNBY in Newport, where sure. I was the voice of the White River Valley. Mm-hmm. All by myself. Management had gone and so forth. And the door opened. A guy walked in. And he said, listen, I'm performing up here at Swifton on the rock and roll highway. I was 67 tonight. I wish you'd come up and listen to me because I think I can be as good as Elvis. Well, I mentally rolled my eyes. I said, my name's Harold. No, Harold Jenkins. 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 Yeah, Harold Jenkins. And uh, so I said, okay. So I went up and listened to him. He was pretty good. Of course, later he became Conway Twitty. And we became friends until the day he died. He was a good fellow. He and Charlie Rich were two of the nicest uh, entertainers that I've ever met. Well, of course, Steve, now you know, I used to play country music, and uh, Conway's, you know, one of my main people. Well, do you know that he, he just, he labored real hard to try to make it, couldn't make it until he crossed over and went with, it was only make me leave, right? Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. And then that, that made him, and then he started uh, recording with uh, Loretta Lynn? Yep. Right. And he became a country star and did well. He died of abdominal... Aorism. What did he call it? Uh, his aorta. His, his aorta ruptured. Oh, oh, I hate that. Yeah, no, I did too. Whew. He was, a, he was no. a very nice fellow. Well, I'm, I'm glad to hear that. Some of them turn out to be nice guys. Yeah, it's always a pleasant surprise. The, the, the entertainer that I found to be most gracious, most generous, and very kind was uh, Roy Rogers. Oh, yeah, of course. He really was great. It was kind of nice that the, the person off the cameras kind of close up to, to yeah. my expectations as a little boy, you know. And I said, when I got ready to hear him, I said, I will resist the temptation of saying that I've watched you since I was a little boy. He said, well, what you didn't know, Steve, is that I, I was only 12 years old when I did all those shows. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Steve Arena. That's enough. Okay. That's enough. Good night enough, and good enough. luck. Good night and good wherever, luck. Wherever you are, mother.